Hi, I'm Li Hao. Today I'm going to share with you something that I feel that you should know about Svelte Actions. Something that is important, but you may not even notice about until you run into some kind of bugs. So um, what I'm going to share with you today is about the order of Svelte Actions. So let's take a look at this example that I prepared for you. So in this example, we have um, two variables, one called value before action and the other called value after actions. Uh, and you will see why, because over here I have two inputs, input one and input two, one on the left, one on the right. Uh, the difference is that the the one on the right, uh, on the left, the value we bind using a value before action and then we apply an action, use uppercase. And the other inputs, the next, the second input is that we use an action first and then we bind the value, value after action, right? So. You may ask me whether, wait, is, is it, is the order important in, in like bind and use? Um, well, that's what I'm going to share with you. So let's, before that, uh, the action itself, uppercase, uh, is very straightforward, I think, um, which is it listens and inputs events on the element and then uh, destroy and to remove it. So in this event listener, what you do is that you get the value of that element and then you set it to its uppercase value, right? So yeah, and then in this over here, we're going to say, we're going to show the value before action and the value after action so that you can compare the two of them. So what do you think about the order of actions? Does it matter that you apply an action before you bind it or you bind first and then you apply an action? Well, it does matter. Right, so, or else that wouldn't be a need to video this. Right, so over here, I'm gonna pull it over and I'm gonna type. So right now I'm on caps lock off, so I'm not on in any caps lock. I'm gonna type ASDF, I'm gonna say A S D F. As, as you can see when I type, um, the, first, the last character is always lowercase. Right, so I'm trying to do it again, A, S, D, F. Uh, that's because whenever I type, um, the bind will get that value first. Uh, so uh, why, when I type, I type in a small letter A, so that, that the value before action will get that value, but then an the action applied later on the bind because it comes later on in the order, uh, and that's when it changed it to an uppercase. Right, so when I type, so right now I have an uppercase A, when I type an S, so it will be uppercase A and lowercase S, which is the value that I get from the binding. And so the bind get first, and then an uppercase uh, action will apply, and then a uh, change that my action, the value of the inputs to be an uppercase. Right? That's how you see that um, it's always lowercase on the last letter because I'm typing in a lowercase. Right. If I apply an action before the bind, then the action will come first before the bind. Right. So I the same thing. I'm gonna type ASDF in lowercase. But notice that uh, whenever I type, the value after action is always in full uppercase. Right. That's because we change it to uppercase first, and then you get you update the bind value. Right. So the order does matter in terms of the in the attributes in the terms of when you apply that action. Right, so um, you may ask me, um, uh, like, is there a catch on, catch on this, right? So that, um, so first thing is that, yes, the order is always applied in the order of um, um, the binding, uh, I mean, in the order of how you declare it in the attribute list, right? And, and to make this uh, example works is that I know that uh, bind value actually uh, listens to an event listener on input. So you you listen, so an event listener, the input event listener always adds, um, always being triggered in the first come, first serve, or, uh, first in, first out order, or first come, first serve order. So uh, the bind get applies first, so the event listener for the bind gets added first, and then the event listener for the actions to apply later on, because it's applied later on. Right, so and then when you trigger the inputs, um, the bind event listeners get callback get called first, 
and then the actions event listeners get called later on, right? So um, to demonstrate this, if I add um, event dot stop immediate propagation, basically what it does is that it will stop the propagation of that event to other event listeners that listening to the same element. What happens is that you will notice that this buy will no longer get the value of the inputs because it's listening to inputs events listener, but then it's uh, what the uppercase will register first and then stop it from stop from it to be propagated to the other event listeners, right? So if I'm going to try over here, everything still works like normal. But you want to try over here, you'll see that the bind value no longer gets its value, right? So um, I'm not sure when you need this, but this is something very important. And your actions order uh, within the attribute list is important. So it it works the same thing as applying the on event listener as well. So all uh, on use and bind the orders are important. Which comes first and which comes later are important. So that um, if you're listening to the same event listeners or changing the elements at the same time, probably the the one that registers earlier will have effect earlier before the one that registers later on. Right, so that's all for what I want to share with you. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have anything that you think that I can improve on or any questions that you'd like to ask, comments down below in the description. Uh, the This uh, repos link will be on available in the description as well. So that's all. Remember to uh, subscribe to my channel. So see you the next time. Bye-bye.